Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve Lead Code 2305 Fair Distribution of Cookies. In this problem, we are given an array which indicates the cookies. For example, this indicates that bag 1 has 8 cookies, bag 2 has 15 cookies and so on. And we also have children. In this case, we have 2 children. And we have to distribute all these bags of cookies to these children. For example, we decided to give 8, 15 and 10 to the child 1 that is first child and to the check second child we give 20 and 8 so what is the total number of cookies that 1 and 2 have it is 33 and it is 28 now what is the maximum of these two the maximum of these two is 33 and our unfair value will be 33 see this is a new concept only for this problem what does it indicate that is the maximum number of cookies that is given to any child so the theme of this problem is we have to reduce this unfair value let's take another example 8 and 15 we give it to one child and the remaining 10 20 and 8 we give it to the second child so what is the total sum in this case it is 23 but this is 38 did our unfair value increase or decrease our unfair value increase that is 38 so the best option that we have got at this point is 33 let's look at another example where we'll be giving H 10 and 8 to 1 and 20 and 15 to another so what will be the total the total will be 10 plus 16 that is 26 and 35 is it the best answer that we got no this is yet not the best answer that we have got so the theme of this problem is we have to find the best possible answer for this particular example the answer will be 31 which is obtained by 15 and 8 8 will give 15 comma 8 comma 8 to one child and the remaining 20 and 10 to the other child so this will be our answer in this particular case so how do we come up with the solution see the first option that comes to everyone's mind is greedy but this problem cannot be solved with greedy solution so what is the next step that we can take and what is the idea that is given in the problem is the constraint that is given in the problem is k will not exceed 8 k will always be less than or equal to 8 and the cookies dot length our bag will also have length less than 8 so this is the idea or they are hinting that this problem can be solved using backtracking or we will be generating all the option and we will be picking the best option right so whenever we hear the word backtracking we think that it is a complex al algorithm but you and if you understand this problem step by step this will become one of the easiest algorithms and the second thing is this is one of the algorithm that actually shows us how powerful computers are say for example in this example we if we have to generate all the options it will be very complex for us but the computers will solve this in a fraction of a second this problem is something that will actually show us the power of computer let's take a very simple example of just three cookies we'll be having h we'll be having 15 and we'll be having 10 and we will be having again two children now let's think what is the option for a cookie now we don't have any cookies with any children now we have let's take the first cookie the thing is this cookie can go either to the first child or it can go to the second child is there any option for this bag of cookie no right it can either go to first child or it can go to second child there is no third option for this this is one so once you have done this the theme of or the idea of backtracking is you have to remember this you have to remember that i have already given cookie number cookie eight or the first bag of cookies to child one and then proceed so if we then proceed we'll be having again two options we are done with cookie number eight let's go to the next cookie that is 15 the thing is you can give to the first person the second person will have zero cookies or you have second option you will give it to the second person so these are the two options that are generated similarly here also one is 15 comma 8 and 0 comma 23 so these are the two options that we'll be having and we are done with the second cookie now we can go to the third cookie that is 10 
then again at every stage we have two options here it can either go to the first child or it can go to the second child but the theme here is you have to remember the configuration that is you have to remember this we'll be passing this array we have to keep track of this array and it should be passed to the next so once we pass to the next we have the option of giving 10 to the first child and give nothing to the second child or we can give it to the second child and our answer will be this 23 and 10 and this we are done with this what is the unfair value that we have one is 23 and another one is 23 but the best is 23 till this point now let's see at this option one is 8 one is 15 we can give it to the first child and make it 18 comma 15 or we can give it to the second child and we can make 8 comma 25 so which is the best option 18 so similarly all these cases will be generated on this side as well and we the best answer here that we got is 18 and this will be our answer so the key theme of this is we will have a configuration and this configuration or the count array will be passed again and again to the function and don't forget that once you have given to the child when you come back you have to take it away from the child. Let's look at the pseudocode and you will understand. So in this backtracking function, we will be passing two parameters, only two parameters. What is that? One is count. That is count array. This indicates what have we given to the child one and what are we given to the child two. This is already done. So we will be keeping track in the counter. Then it is cookie number. For example, we were distributing the second cookie. We have to consider only the second cookie. Don't worry about any of the other cookies. That is what cookie number says. Then what are we doing in this step here is we distribute it to every child. That is we try to give it to child one and we will configure or recall the function. For example, what we are doing here is we are giving it to the first child. And once you have given it to the first child, we are calling the same function again but in this case the cookie number has increased this says that i gave the cookie to child number one let's now go to the next cookie that is what it is saying but you might be thinking okay we gave it to first child what about the second child now so that is what we are doing here we are taking it away again from the first child and in the next loop we will be again giving it for the second child that is i will become one and we will be giving it for the second child again the second child will do the same operation but what is the base case in this the base case is when the cookie number is equal to cookies dot length that is we are once we are done with all the cookies we will compute the unfair value that is the maximum of count and our answer will be the minimum of whatever the existing answer or if there unfair for example our existing answer was 33 and we came up with an unfair value of 18 so our answer will be updated see though backtracking might look like a very complicated algorithm there are many number of problems on lead code that you can actually use to become an expert in the backtracking and these two are my favorite problems and we'll be discussing this problem in the telegram group so if you are interested you can consider joining the telegram group the link of the telegram group i have mentioned in the description now let's dive into the coding part without any further ado what are doing here is we are creating a count array which will keep track of the existing cookies and the distribution say we have given eight to the first this will remember i have given eight cookies and we will call this backtrack function and this will be our base case when we have distributed all the cookies we will be computing the unfair value which is just equal to the maximum of the cookie distributed to any child say we have three children and given 8 15 and 23 23 will be our unfair value and we are just computing the answer the next thing this is the important thing where we will be giving the cookie to first cookie and uh, as i explained in the sudo code this one additional statement is there where if we have not given to any child our unfair value will be high right because this cookies will be given to other child and this will increase their bag of cookies so if any of them is equal to zero we can just break it that is the key idea here and finally we will be returning the answer this will actually beat all the solutions and it beats 100 percent of them because this is the fastest thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe